so hello and uh, welcome to dcc and i the youtube channel so my name is govind singh and today we will be solving the problem b that is kill demo dogs of code forces round 841 so let's see what is the problem statement and what was the question asking like we are given a n cross n grid so so we have a n cross n grid like Let n equal to 4. And these are the columns and these are the rows. So the each cell would be, uh, it is given here, like each cell would be i into j. Like the ith column multiply, i through multiply by jth column. So it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 6, 9, 12, then 4, 8, um, 12, 16. So this would be our 4 cross 4 grid where n equal to 4. Now, um, now what is the next uh, statement I was asking? Like now we need to go from this first index to this last index, like from 1, com 1 cross 1 to n cross n we have to go. And uh, we can choose two directions. Either we can go right or we can go down. So we can go right or we can uh, go down from every index. And the condition is that we cannot go out of the grid. And uh, we have to reach from the 1 comma 1 to n comma n. So there could be a lot of paths like we can go from here to here. Like also we can go from here to here. Then we can choose something like here, 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 here. There could be a lot of paths. but in the question, it was asking like we have to select such a path like uh, I, we have to select a path which should be giving us the maximum value sum like uh, the sum of all the values in the path it should be as maximum as possible so we should be selecting a path okay um, so it would be our answer okay since it is given like this is our answer and uh, we have to multiply 2022 to our answer then we have to take a modulo like if you multiply 2022 into answer then we have to take modulo of 10 is to power 9 plus 7 and this would be our final answer so let's see how can we get this answer so if we just take uh, you know if we construct this grid only and uh, we try to find out like which path we can choose right to choose a path like uh, uh, we have to you know we can see from here we can observe that if the diagonal elements are having the maximum sum so we are sure that yeah we need to take these uh, for sure right so we need to take these diagonal elements but to go to diagonal you cannot go directly to this diagonal element directly to this diagonal element we have two operations either we can go right and we can go down so we can choose this way or we can go this way because uh, whichever way we go like if we are here and we have to go to 9 so we can go here and here we can uh, because the answer would be remain the same why if we go here then it is also 6 now this is also 6 why is it so because the transpose of this matrix would be equal to this matrix itself that's why it is happening and now we need to you know select a way uh, so that we can go here yeah so if we carefully see then this could be the possibility uh, possibly the way first we can go right then down then right then down then right then down now if we go through this way then we will get the maximum value sum of all the cells okay now uh, uh, these are two series we can observe right this is a series and this is a also a series so if we write these diagonal elements like these are 1 for n equal to 4 these are 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 so what is this this is 1 plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square and uh, now if we take the sum of now last term would be n square if n is uh, 4 here the last term is 4 square so last term would be n square uh, and sum of all the series, sum of the series would be summation of n square, which would be equal to n by 6 multiplied by n plus 1, then 2n plus 1. Now, this is the sum of the series. And uh, for the next series, uh, uh, here we also have this 2, 
6 12 so let's write and what could we see the pattern like this is 2 the 6 plus 12 for n equal to uh, 4 so this is 1 into 2 now this is 2 into 3 and this is 3 into 4 now we can observe here like the last uh, last element it is the general term for the last element would be n minus 1 into n this and the summation of all the terms like n minus 1 into n it would be um, n minus 1 plus if we simplify it then we can get this n plus 1 by 3 now, this would be the sum of the series uh, of this so for that for the answer would be the sum of both the series right because uh, it answer is equal to answer is the you know maximum value sum so we are we have two series so we have to take the sum of summation of both the series like so answer would be like sum of both of these it would be 1 plus 6 n into n plus 1 then 2n plus 1 and plus n into n minus 1 then n plus 1 by 3 now we can take n into n plus 1 common from here then it would be 2n plus 1 <coughs> sorry and uh, this this is 2n minus 2 now if we further simplify this it would be n into n plus 1 by 6 into 4n minus 1 so this is our answer but what is our final answer our final answer is this uh, final answer is equal to this answer multiply by 2022 then we have to take a modulo mod right so this if we cancel this then it would be 337 so now we just need to multiply all these elements and then we need to take a mod it is 4n minus 1 multiply 337 and at last we will take a modulo 10 is for 9 plus 7 so now you know if uh, if if you just simplify this expression in any i don't know in python and it would be you know there, this there would not be there will not be any error or uh, you know integer overflow because uh, integer can have any uh, you know any value in python you know there is not a constraint that uh, like uh, in like in c++ we can uh, we know that their integer is having the maximum value of uh, uh, approximately 10 is for 9 and for uh, long long int it would be having a maximum value range from 10 is to power minus 18 to 10 is to power plus 18 right so this is for long long so now we have to take the you know uh, we should be taking uh, this long long y because and so do you know extreme value of n which is given in the question it could be 10 to the power 9 so uh, we, if we multiply this 10 to the power 9 this this is also 10 to the power 9 yeah, this is 10 to the power 9 and this is approximately 10 to the power 2 yeah so if we multiply all of these then it would be 10 to the power 9 plus this you know 27 plus this would be 29 and we can multiply now if you multiply all of these numbers then its uh, range would be 10 is to power greater than 10 is to power 18 but we after multiplying we should be having a number which should be less than 10 is to power 18 if we take the long long in c plus plus right uh, so um, here uh, what we can do like we can take two numbers like we can create two numbers like long long a long long num1 or a suppose it as first number as a uh, then we just multiply this and into n plus 1 and then take a modulo this is mod like mod is equal to 10 to the power 9 plus 7 and uh, uh, if we take if we multiply this then it would be 10 to the power 9 10 to the power 9 and uh, after multiplying it would be 10 to the power 18 right but then we take a modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so it would become less than 10 to the power 9 plus uh, this if we take modulo of 10 to the power 9 plus 7 then the final answer would be then a would become less than 10 to the power 9 plus 7 right and again we can take another variable like long long b equal to the other term that we that are remaining that uh, 4 into n plus n minus 1 multiply by 337 and then taking a mod 
Now what will happen like this could be the its extreme value could be 10 to the power 9 and this is 10 to the power 2 approx. So this after multiplying these could be 10 to the power 12 or less than 2 to the power 12. But taking a modulo like it would be b will again become less than 10 to the power 9 plus 7. Now we get our a and b like we have multiplied all our numbers right. But now a could be you know 10 to the power 9 it could be uh, you know a is extreme value. Now it could be 10 to the power 9 and b could be 10 to the power 9 and our final answer like our final answer it is a into b right if you multiply both of these this is 10 to the power 9 now 10 to the power 9 like this again could be 10 to the power 18 but we have to give a modulo like under 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so we again take a modulo 10 to the power 9 plus 7 so this will give us the correct answer first we take the mod of two values we just divided this complete expression in two parts such that uh, we are able to calculate the you know expression because if we evaluate this then it would be in long long range the you know the maximum value of uh, this long long data type and this would also be in uh, this uh, particular range that's why we multiplied it then we take a modulo like uh, for we divide it in two parts then after multiplying these two uh, values a and b then we again take a modulo and this will give us a uh, this will answer so this all we have to do in c++ and other programming language where there is a constraint of uh, you know the range of number but in programming like uh, programming language like python it would be super easy and super fun like you can multiply all of these number because there is no limit of n like the n could be you know number can be integer could be having any range so if you multiply if you multiply all of this number then uh, whatever number you get you just take the 10 to the power 9 plus 7 modulo then you will get the correct answer but for c++ and other programming language you can use this and i hope you know the solution implementation everything is clear to you and then also you are having any doubt you can uh, you know uh, comment your doubt uh, in the comment section and uh, yeah that's all thank you